Third, let's talk about asphyxia and gas toxicity. We know that heat wasn't the only killer in this disaster. In the pyroclastic surge or flow, the gas component of the material ejected from a volcano is composed of superheated ash, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and very fine particles with extremely low humidity. If you would inhale this scalding gas, you'd instantaneously cause irreparable damage to your airway, esophagus, and lungs. Even if you survived a partial exposure, the interface between the alveoli and capillaries in your lungs would be destroyed, and you wouldn't be able to exchange oxygen or carbon dioxide with the atmosphere. So you'd be suffocating from lack of usable oxygen, as well as the inhaled particulates blocking the alveoli, and sooner or later, inflammatory shock. Even in modern medicine, severe burns to the airway are catastrophic, and ingestion of superheated gases causes immediate edema, sloughing of tissues, and airway obstruction. None of those things are reversible in a scenario like Vesuvius.